All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Air Guns and Air Power back again. Today we're going to go back over the Blitz Hammer Spring adjustment. Uh, I had some subscribers. Uh, I can't pronounce your name. Watch the other video we did of the Hammer Spring adjustment, and it was a horrible, cringy video. So I went back and checked it, and I agree. It was a terrible video. You couldn't see anything I was doing. So we got two camera angles here. I'm going to uh, attempt to redo this video. Maybe you can see exactly what I'm doing because me just running my mouth don't actually show you what I'm doing. So uh, before you attempt to do anything like this, make sure that you're, you're good at doing things like this. You're safe. And you know what you're doing, you've checked and researched videos and things of what to do. Or you just have somebody that knows what they're doing with you. So let's go ahead, tilt this camera down, and get started. Alright, now the first thing you're going to want to do is obviously take this stock off. Right now the first thing I'm going to do is uh, remove my scope so we do not damage it. I have these quick release mounts so that pretty easily comes off there. I love these risers. <clears throat> Set that to the side. Back over here. I'm going to rack my bolt back and lock it in the uh, back position. <clears throat> now right here on the very bottom by this gauge right here in front of the trigger there is a five millimeter bolt allen bolt and that's all you have to take out to uh, get this stock off with a five millimeter allen wrench okay That is the only bolt holding this entire stock on this rifle. <clears throat> now I just leave my bolt in there. I don't bother taking it out. And then uh, I set it to the side. Now. <clears throat> before we go any further. Now, what I want to do is, uh, I want to work on this rifle safely. So we're going to let all the air pressure out of this with this flathead screw right here behind this gauge. Now, when you release this air, you want to do it nice and easy. You just want to crack this open because you, you got to remember, mine it still has air in it it's almost full so you got to treat this like you don't want to just start cracking this screw out because it's got all that pressure behind it and it could blow out at you like a projectile shooting out of the barrel it's very dangerous so what you want to do is just get you a flathead screwdriver here crack this valve let this air go out slowly Just sit there and let it come out of there. Now the pressure's dropped down. I can open this a little more. Still being very careful. It's about to get cold. See the pressure drop. No moisture there. You want to make sure you dry all this moisture off when you're done. You don't want no rusting parts on here. Mm. 
like I mentioned, take your time and do not just back this screw out of here because it, it could be very dangerous with all pressure. <clears throat> It is in the black now you can still I can still hear it hissing I think it just stopped so we're gonna go ahead and give the uh, screw a little more turn here make sure the air is gone now I won't tighten that screw back up until I'm done here <clears throat> And the next thing we want to do is I want to get this back plate off of here because my next move is going to be my next move is going to be getting this back plate off of here you have to there's a little allen screw right here see it right whoop hold on right there Inside there is a little out screw that holds that back plate down. So I believe it was a two, it may be a two and a half. I'm gonna grab a two, and it is a two and a half. So it's a two and a half. Let me try to get you guys a little closer here. Back the Allen screw out. Till it's flush with the uh, top right here. Now, this is a part I forgot. I need to go get my, I use like needle nose pliers or something, put in them two holes and back this out. Alright, I shall return. Okay, we're back. These are the needle nose pliers here. <clears throat> and, uh. Oh, first, 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 first. Now, this is the only way I know to decock this rifle. Let all the air right at it. Drop my bolt. Take it off safety. That rifle is decocked with, with uh, no air in it. That's the only way I know to do that. Now, back to taking your plug out. Do not forget to decock your rifle. This spring will be compressed inside of here. They make snap ring pliers they're kind of cylinder like ends instead of these but uh once you release that sear off of that hammer it should come out of there pretty easy and I'm not left handed by the way so If I can get this up a little more. And your spring's going to be right there. It's not going to come out if you uh, have released the sear. Now, once I've released the sear and everything, 
if you can see right behind the door, you know your drop door where you drop to put the mag in. Right behind there, there's a little hole right there. Let me get where I can see where you're seeing. And inside that little hole right there, there is another Allen bit. Okay? What that's going to do is, uh, that's going to release the screw inside of the hammer for you to adjust. You have to... You have to get that Allen screw. You actually need to take it all the way out for this. So I need to lay the gun back down so it won't be up at an angle on me. I actually need it to quit rolling over. So that's going to be, I think that one is actually a two. And yes it is. You have to take it all the way out because you're going to have to push this. Me, I have to, there's the spring. Me, I have to uh, take it all the way out because I usually end up having to move this hammer because my Allen wrench ain't big enough to go up in here. <clears throat> now I have to change my heads out to a, a small... Phillips head because these two bolts here are fixing to come out right here on this plate so I can move this hammer back and forth See all the condensation? Can you guys see that condensation up here? Probably not. All oh, condensating up here. And releasing all that air pressure off of it. Okay, now there's a sear under here, a little lever under here. Hopefully don't come out with me. <clears throat> but if it does, there's a little pin that pops up here and before you can put this back on you'll have to push that pin down. So now that I've got that done and slid back up inside of here up inside that hole inside the other hole there is a Allen head. Okay? <clears throat> It is a, I'm going to say, I want to say a four or four and a half. Let me try the four. Feels like that's what it is. Is a four. Now this one's already been adjusted. So remember, if you stick your Allen wrench in there and it fits like whichever way it's pointing, one full turn, counterclockwise. If you're moving backwards the opposite way a clock does, which would be to the left, you're going to increase the power because that's moving that set screw back and giving this uh, spring um, a lot less room and squeezing it that way when it shoots it opens that valve up more so this one has already been adjusted I will put a just a slight turn on it then I want to push my hammer back in place to where I can see You might have to push the trigger when you go pushing this hammer back up to where you can see that hole. Actually, I got a lot of threads left. Because I can see I can see down in that hole where I took this set screw out that holds that adjustment screw. 
I actually have a lot of more threads that will bite. So I'm going to uh, attempt to get another turn on here to get me myself some more power. I think. Oh no, I'm not. Because actually, actually a washer came out of there. It needs to go back in there. I did not know about this little washer in there. So be careful you do not lose that. That's about as far as I personally want to turn that. Now let me put this little washer back inside of here. I'm going to have to get off a of camera to do this so I can see. Figure out which way it sits on there. Probably just like that. And this washer has a bevel, where's the camera? A bevel in one end, and then a flat spot on, and a flat space on the other, which I think the spring goes to. Well, let me attempt to put this back in here with my Allen wrench, maybe. That's how I pulled it out of there with it. Okay, that worked. Now let me push this hammer back up Pull the trigger. Push the hammer back up. Sometimes it can be hectic to get that hammer up. There it goes. And there came that washer back out again. There, uh, I got that back in there. If you can see it, it's hard to get this on camera. Okay, hopefully it stays there. Now I'm gonna put my set screw back in here on this adjustment screw so it stays put does not move on me. Hopefully this video turns out better than the other one where you could not see anything I was doing. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to put my plate back on here. Be careful with these little bitty screws that go in here. If you wish, you can lock tight them. But the stock kind of goes over them and holds them there. So do not over tighten them. Okay, and we're going to put our spring back in here. And we're going to put our plate. This is Generation 2 Blitz. I don't know if I uh, mentioned that. I got to look at what I'm doing here. You can take that middle screw out if you want to, if it makes it easier on you. Now there's a, uh, if you can see, let me back it back out. If you see that, uh, whoa, 
you see you see that little indention on that back plate right there that's where that set screw screws down into so you kind of want it back in this general area right here if you have to make a mark on it go right ahead and make your mark on the outside of here <clears throat> so you know uh, where that indention is if you can see what I'm talking about that indention right there I kind of like to uh, take this right here put that right in there's a flathead screw on the back of this back plate I like to put it right in line with that and you want this back plate flush with the back of the gun maybe you can put it in just a little bit and what I'm going to go do is get the pliers to actually fit this better alright um, these are what I'm talking about if you can see they are round all the way around and uh, they fit that much much better Okay, here it is. My screws in line with that was a two and a half. Which was this one. Do not over tighten any of these. And now you're ready to put your stock back on after you uh, lock your uh, re air release screw back down so that's what we're going to do right now lift this back oh get you to yeah, zoom back out so you can see that bolt uh, screw we took the air out with we're just going to tighten it back down snug it up if we hear air coming out of it when we fill in the gun we'll know that to come back and retighten that there so there I put a I'm gonna say another turn on this one which has already been turned out a few times if you want less power you turn it back in the way a clock rotates and uh, there you go just putting the stock back on is pretty simple <clears throat> you just actually just drop it back on here if I don't knock you guys over trying to do this I don't have much room here Goes back on there like so. Number five. And, uh, then I can put my scope back on and we should be good all right there you have the blitz hammer spring adjustment on two different angles maybe I can edit it and swap basic back and forth which ones are better for what I'm doing hopefully that helps you out a lot more I will air this up make sure we have no leaks then that hammer that putting that extra turn on that hammer made that very hard to cock back so
you may have to turn it back in and if you turn it up too high full auto may not work for you um, I may have to see if tightening up a mag will help it work in full auto if not then it's due to a uh, tightened hammer spring but semi auto if I can get more foot pounds or energy out of it that'd be pretty good I'll be happy with that I can work with semi auto with more foot pounds uh, I only used full auto for fun and shooting and videos anyway and uh, there you have it I hope that's a better video this turns out better Y'all have a wonderful evening. Air Power is out of here to go feel this and test it.